rub my hands to keep warm in these time of nights, time of days. Oh well. Hello everyone, welcome to the Bandao show for yet another installment of Pokemon Gold. Uh, my name is Bandao, you may know me from this channel. Uh, today is the 5th of July 2021, it is the day after America Independence Day, so to everyone who had a great time yesterday in America, cool, and hopefully the fireworks weren't too loud, maybe. We'll see. Well, we, we did see, it happened. Uh, I, me being in Australia, it was a regular Sunday. Nothing really too much. So that's okay. Uh, I got some mildly exciting news and things to talk about. And they're not in the controversial camp. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> um, but how about let's get back into the realm of playing video game. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, those of you who watched the last week's stream will know that the game crashed uh, on me. Uh, the emulator crashed. Uh, I'm not too sure what exactly the problem was, but it's triggered by me unplugging my controller like this, which you could kind of, you know, smell a little bit of the, the frame rate taking a moment's notice, and then it would crash at that point. Uh, the reason was, is that RetroArch has a feature called Threaded Video, which had never been a problem for me up until that, and I don't know why. Just me going through all the settings and going, okay, well, does it run on, like, sorry, does me unplugging the controller work on uh, a vanilla config? And it worked fine, so I was like, okay, well, what's all my differences? And that ended up being my difference. That caused it. So I've tried my best to catch back up. I have got my Pokemon mostly, I think, Babat's one level higher. I think that's it. He didn't learn anything that you wouldn't have learned. I think also, I saw a Dunsparce in the cave. And I'm sorry that I saw a Dunsparce in the cave. <laughs> that's the only thing. I've tried my best to keep it as same as it was, so that's okay. Uh, here's a double oof. Uh, in the same stride as trying to correct this config, I made an absolute whoopsie whoopsie, and every single one of my emulator saves was deleted, which, you know, I'm not 100% fussed about, because most of these games, if I was to play them again, I would play them again. I don't really mind about my saves too much, and I didn't, I never put in, like, that much hard effort to make my, um, saves, or, you know, you know, for any of my game saves, like, Usually I just take a screenshot, if something is, like, that important. Um... There's a few ones where I'm just like, mm, Like, I now don't have a way to, like, necessarily get back into it without a cheat, or... Um... Mostly a cheat. A lot of people have already gotten cheats, so I remember recently I played through Metropolis Street Racer, and that was an absolute, like... You know, an absolute challenge to do everything in the game. And even then, like, I didn't even get every car. I don't know what- well, not every car. Every track. There were, like, four tracks that just did all the challenges, did every single event, all 250 of them, still missing things. I don't know where. It's bizarre. So, uh, but, you know, honestly, I'm kind of like, you know, the memories are with me, because I was the one who played those games, and... I don't particularly need a save file to, you know, prove that I played it, because I feel like anyone can just talk about their experiences with the game. I don't need to, like, val validate, you know, what I've done. So, that's fine. Uh, the two bummers are, one includes the Earthbound save from the Earthbound playthrough that's currently on hold while I get onto the, the copyright topic later, and the other one was, uh, the Golden Sun save, which I was gonna transfer into the second game, so... I'll see what to do when I... When and if I consider playing the second one, I don't know, because if I don't, then sure, but it's a little bit, you know, disappointing that all those saves did disappear, um, and, uh, yeah, so the, the error in my ways was, uh, in making a new RetroArch install and all that stuff, uh, I accidentally told Robocopy to mirror the wrong directory into the saves folder instead of the saves folder into a directory, and so... All those files just got immediately erased, not in the recycle bin, and it hurts. It hurts a lot. 
And there's only one way of really getting around it, and that's to do it the right way, like, or to use different copying methods, so... I feel like the best thing to do would be, instead of, um, you know, copying files into one place or another, like, set up one thing, test it on a safe, you know, folder first, and test that it copies everything exactly into a new location, and never change that location. Like, so, in my case, I'll be archiving every single save file into its own, like, folder for that day, and call that a day, and go, that's, that's my archive for the day. Um, and then, anytime I look back later, I go, ah, that's, that's the day, and it will never change. So, I wonder, actually, yeah, I, I would really like to figure out how to read-only uh, directories in Windows. So I should try and figure that one out. Um, so for reference, yeah, I was fighting this guy, and then, yeah, poof goes the the run. So, there's that. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not tons fast. Um, not every single emulator for me as well, so I've still got some that I'm, like, in the middle of really working on, so all my Wii stuff, because I still play Fortune Street with a bunch of pals, and, uh, yeah, I, I kind of don't want to lose that save, even though we play multiplayer all the time and nothing saves, and I'm pretty sure I used to cheat to unlock all the maps. Still. Uh, uh, that's that. A little disappointing, but, uh, big time Tommy's life lesson of the day is don't get too attached to things, because, uh, honestly, like, anyone can make a save, but only you can describe what you, you know, felt and played. And oh, it's a box of memories, but maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm too mild on that, and it doesn't affect me that much, who knows. Oh, I'm weak! Do I trust fighting the next guy? I'll do it. So, this is the last floor. I know, I was a little bummed. I was gonna, I was gonna make it so that I'd, you know, come up to the top floor, uh, fight these two guys, and then do the gym, and I'd do that in <laughs> the remaining half hour of the stream that I had, but with the save gone, it's like, there's no quick way of doing it. It was a bit disappointing. At this point, they stop sending level 3 bell sprouts, and instead, there's two trainers with one singular level 6 bell sprout each. They're also all male. Every single trainer in this gym uses male-only Pokemon. What does that speak of? I'm not too sure. But, you know, we'll continue, so... Uh, and honestly, yeah, I, I think the take-home of me going, hey, you know, I really like him raising a special attack is a little concerning. I forgot what, whether grass is physical or special. I guess it's physical, isn't it? So growth is a bit, you know, moot. But, uh, but yeah, honestly, the the tyings to to save files. You know, maybe, maybe when I was a bit younger, I would have been very, very upset about uh, me playing Pokemon Sapphire and then someone stealing my game cartridge and never giving it back to me. Um, what is happening with this Supersonic? Um, but honestly, like. You know, like, my memories of the game lie with me playing the game. And honestly, like, what is happening here? What is going on? What is happening? What? Hold on, hold on. Does Supersonic have a thing where it doesn't- No! It just- It'll hit now, it'll hit now. Sure. For reference, as I'm looking up right now, Supersonic has a 55% chance of hitting, and it, it, just, it won't hit people who have Substitute, um, and abilities from later gens, so it doesn't matter on this game. Uh, me missing it, what was that, six times in a row? Uh, take the odds, what's 0 0.45 times... You know, to, sorry, 0 0.45 to the power of 6. Incredibly low. Jeez. Now if only I could find a shiny. Again. Oh well. 
I am really gonna hit. And he's only ever confused for one turn. I am totally gonna hit. Um, like, struggle territory. This is an incredibly engrossing gameplay. I, I'm glad. <laughs> I was gonna mention something about, like, Skinner boxes and, and, you know, like, playing a Actually, no, I'll, I'll talk about it. So, uh... Oh, uh, okay. I'll get. I'll get there. So I think the uh, the mildly more um, important topic is that I decided to file a full-on uh, counterclaim. Not counterclaim. What's the one? Just an appeal. I don't know what the the counter notification. That's the specific term. Okay. Um, to the second Earthbound stream that I did. Um, specifically on grounds of fair use, although uh, I guess there's an interesting development. Uh, I don't trust Babat to live. So I kind of want... I don't think Rocky's going to live either. So, I can, I can throw myself at this guy, but I don't think anyone besides Chicky's really going to take him out. So this is another one with a bell sprout. The bell sprout. Ah, uh, yes, left ear Rocky. Always good. Uh, so, yeah, so for those who did not know, uh, Sony Music Entertainment Japan has been, uh, specifically, um, I guess, I guess as of last week, I didn't really realize, but they had been copyright striking a lot of people's Earthbound videos, including, uh, Chugga Conroy's. Now, uh, I know that Chucker Conroy played the game uh, two years back, three years back. Um, I hadn't realized that his stuff got, um, I guess, like claimed out of nowhere. And, uh, his tweets were from the 20th of June. Uh, my first stream was from before that, but the second stream came out. When was it? It was. I guess it would have been on the 21st of July. Sorry, 21st of June. Um, so. So that stream happened after, and then I got the claim probably like a full uh, copyright takedown strike. Uh, you know, mark on the channel on the 23rd. Um, so I'd been through a bit of a back and forth between YouTube on like, okay, well, like they're not, you know, I don't think they're in the right purely by fair use grounds, and not, not at all because of uh, the fact that Sony Music Entertainment Japan only owns, uh, you know the publishing rights of the soundtrack of the game, and not exactly the background music of the game itself, even if it is the same rendition of the music. They don't own that publishing of the music. They also don't own the compositional rights of the music, from what I believe. I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, and, like, I, I feel like if they did own the rights of the music, then they would force... Sorry. They would have to appear in credits and, you know whatever, in re-releases of the exact same version of the game. But they don't. I don't think Sony has any, like, hand in anything beyond the soundtrack. Regardless, I was like, well, you know, my video's not about the soundtrack. It doesn't include the soundtrack. Who knows? Yeah, Pokemon's gold. This is the best, the best one, so... So anyway, so I was like, yo... Uh, Sony, you're wrong. And then they were like, no, we're right. And I was like, no, Sony, you are wrong. Uh, and, like, uh, as you provide more and more appeals to YouTube, they re require more and more, uh, more and more, I guess, like, fields, more description of what you've done. Uh, so now I've done the third and final step, according to YouTube, which is a counter notification to which this, uh, YouTube says, like, you know, under risk of perjury, uh, if you, you know, if you provide misleading content, which I'm like, I truly believe what I'm saying, so hopefully, uh, they will send this, they will review what I've sent, and send that off to Sony Music, should they deem it appropriate. Well, on Friday, was it Friday? Thursday, they did. <laughs> Please no thoughts to Sony Music. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so on, yeah, on Thursday, Sony, uh, sorry, YouTube, uh, replied back to me and said, uh, quote, Thank you for your counter notification. It has been forwarded to the party that sent the takedown notification. Um, this is all copy-pasted response, so don't, don't view it as anything specific that YouTube has sent. But 
This is the, the phrasing that they will use uh, for me. Keep in mind that submitting this counter notification, you've initiated a formal legal dispute process. As such, YouTube will handle this process in accordance with the law. This process takes some time, so we kindly ask for your patience upon forwarding your counter notification to a claimant. We will allow them 10 to 14 business days from this date to respond with the evidence that they have taken court action against you to prevent the, re the reinstatement of the video in question. Uh, there's a uh, in brackets S there as well, and I'm like, man, I wish I could do two videos. If, re if we receive no response, after that time period your videos will be restored and the associated penalties on your account will be resolved. You will receive updates uh, in this email thread, um, and you can also view it on the video manager. Currently there has been no response yet. So it's been, uh, today will be the fourth day after that message, um, so let's not, yeah, I, I mean, they got massive lawyers, but also, like, they have such a, like, a non-case right now. I just, I don't see where this is. Like, they're claiming ownership of something that they don't have, and then bonus points for, like, you know, if anyone actually watched the video, you'd go, hey, like, this guy is not monetizing or, like, just illegally distributing, you know, this background music. It's literally part of a video game to which he's providing some, you know, criticism on. It literally falls under US fair use laws. Um, you, you can make the case that it's like I'm doing, like, a full playthrough. We can go into that discussion, but... The... You know, what, what is being disputed is not the use of the full length of the game, it's one individual background track, which for some odd reason, and I'm still surprised, I managed to like, you know, edit out the, the background track from the first video. I hate it, but I just wanted to see what would happen if I edited out one singular track. And... No claim, so far. For some reason, the entire two-hour stream has been fine, except for the one track. So, I guess, yeah, in principle, I could just re-upload with, with, you know, the, the track kind of removed. Um, but I feel like, one, if I get the copyright takedown strike for a video, I probably shouldn't try and, like, circumvent it in, like, ways like that, unless I was consistent in doing it for the whole video, which I don't really want to. Um, and then two, if uh, what what's the what's the term? I I feel like that's a standard there. Yeah, I I mean, you know, big, big companies have their place, but oh my gosh, like, you know, it, it sucks when they step on. And I'm gonna be very careful with my terminology on this one. It sucks when they take action against individuals. And then the, indivi the individuals have no means of fighting against this. And so, because legit, if, if YouTube didn't have this process and they said, you gotta talk to them directly, they, they wouldn't, like, I would have no process. Because, again, after the original copyright, like, claim, uh, I guess, like, last Wednesday, so not, not, sorry, not the Wednesday, uh, like, the last day of June, but the week before that, I sent them an email. They have not replied to me. It's been 12 days. They have not replied to me going, hey, what's going on? If YouTube, like... And this is a conundrum for YouTube, because it's like, how do you treat everyone uh, the same way? Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna get 100% annihilated in this. Uh, you are indeed skilled as a trainer, as promised. Here's your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Uh, Colin Leclerc right there. Humph claims to be the elder, but he's weak. That's that's not an oxymoron. That's that's like you know he's, he's got got a bit of weak bones there. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. And then he uses an escape rope and he just disappears. Oh, you actually get the opportunity to keep walking as well. Cool. So there's an escape rope here, but here's the final challenge. Uh, I'm gonna stand next to him just to be slightly cool. I call him Neville because Neville has the word evil in it, and I thought that would be funny, but I don't really know. I don't know, I should have called him like Poopy. Or, uh... Who's like my arch nemesis? I don't even have an arch nemesis. 
I'm not really that smart with the, the names. <laughs> um, so, this is uh, the Elder. He's got some harder Pokemon. It doesn't exactly have any use of growth, though, so... I just just commit with leech life and call it a day. Yeah. The trouble is, is that I don't think he... The default name isn't, like, input by default in this game. So, if you're playing this, you don't have any idea that canonically he should be called Silver. And Silver's a bit of a weird name. I guess in the same way that, like, first gen, it's, like, blue and red. It's, like... I don't know. There's a bit of, bit of weird names. So... Yeah, so to put the copyright thing to rest... We'll wait. I got no news apart from... This is this is apparently legal. Uh, oh, so so I guess number two... Um, yeah, so I, I, I double-checked afterwards. After this, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it turns out Chugga Conroy not only had claims on his videos, he's had... Um... Oh, he hasn't had any strikes, I believe, but he has had YouTube, uh, he's had takedown notices. So, take takedown notices, as in the video is unavailable in at least most regions. I can't view the finale of his Let's Play, but, um, there's definitely, uh, no harm to his channel just yet. So, uh... So me going in in my original kind of cases against this, going, hey, like there's many people's videos that are in this style. Well, <laughs> there's a few less now, which I don't think was because of me, but no, hopefully not. <laughs> um, it sucks that I'm faster than him, and then he breaks out of confusion. Actually, I don't think there's any difference between if I was going second. But yeah, it's kind of annoying. Because Babak can't do anything. I just want like a full like takedown of this bell sprout. Sorry, not not the videos. <laughs> so I'm done. I'm done with the copyright topic. We'll talk about it next week. We'll see how it goes. Um. So I had a, a mild topic about Skinner boxes, and I thought that'd be um, a bit interesting to bring up. Um. So I've been playing over the past month and a bit. Uh, GTA Online, and I was, I've mentioned it a couple times, I just realized I've come up against the Hoot Hoot, and I could totally use Rocky right now. Because the Hoot Hoot can't do a thing against Rocky, he can use Tackle and take off one damage, one bit of health. Meanwhile, my ears, but Screech is like such a great attack to open with. So, that's a, that's the best part of of Rocky here. You can just, you can just kill your ears, uh, <laughs> but you can do a double screech, and now his defense is like a third of what it was. Maybe, uh, I think it is a third. It's really low. And then you use tackle, and you realize that Rocky doesn't have the highest attack, but, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit of a doozy. I don't know if the sound card is any better on the Game Boy Color. I don't think this game even uses the Game Boy Color features beyond just game can be in color. Uh, so this Hutu knows Foresight, which is a completely worthless attack because all it does is that it makes your next attack not miss, I believe. Uh, hold on, yeah. So when Foresight is used, if the user's accuracy stat stage is less than the target's evasion stat stage, both stat changes will be treated as zero during accuracy checks against the target. Uh, this lasts until the target switches out. Oh, okay. So, basically, if your... If your opponent's been dodging stuff, or you've been reduced accuracy, it'll normalize it. And on top of that, uh, it also removes ghost types immunity to fighting a normal. Which is good. Uh... I feel good not using Rocky at the moment. So we'll come in with Chicky. We'll come in with Chicky. It's just another Bell Sprout. It's the same as before. He's got Growth and he's got Vine Whip. He can't do anything. I don't think Vine Whip particularly does a ton here, but I mean, what else do I do? Growl. I just pray for crits like that. 
That's how you do it. Uh, so yeah, Sprout Tower's a bit of a grind. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And on the topic of Skinner Boxes, uh, this is the one part of the game that I'm like, yeah, this definitely takes its time to, like, get into. This, this one part of the game. It's just... Because you're fighting the same kinds of Pokemon over and over again. And that's something that I feel like newer Pokemon has the benefit and also the bizarre hindsight to... No, not hindsight. The bizarre choice to not capitalize on that as well. I feel like Pokemon Sword and Shield is like the perfect example of one where it's like, you could be using a lot more Pokemon, but you aren't for some reason. Why? You have like, you've defined like 900 Pokemon. Where's all your Pokemon? You've, you've used like 300. X and Y, beautiful game. It's got like 350. They'll go crazy on that number. Reflect is such a bizarre attack to have. So, anyway, you, you kick this bu guy's butt, and he tells you that apparently I love my Pokemon more than that guy, and I'm like, nah. Uh, Game Freak dev choices? Eh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I really also... Side note, I want to play a Game Freak... Joey! 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 <laughs> Joey, can you not catch Hutu? What? Joey, it's got like 255 catch rate. Come on, Joey. So, uh, anyway, they're nice enough to give you that, um, escape rope in the corner. So you can use it to get the heck out of dodge really quick. It's a great item. I love that they've got it up there. So now we heal and now you gotta fight the gym. But yes, so this guy gives you the HM for Flash. Flash it's a bit of a dog move. It reduces your opponent's accuracy by one stage, which, if they had foresight, maybe it wouldn't be a problem, but most people don't really play for that. It's kind of annoying. Um, you can spam it in single player if you want, but... <laughs> it's like, in competitive play, when you only got to fight one guy, you know, it's really effective. When you got to fight, like, you know, trainer after trainer, it gets a bit annoying. Uh, I'm also going to save here. One, because I guess I'm doing a stream, so it's not like this can be going. Wait, it's been ages since I played this gen. Do you have... Do you use Flash Light the cave up in this game? You do, yes. But you can't... Uh, you can't light up a cave just yet, because I have not beaten the gym leader. So... Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. So we gotta fight two trainers before we get there. This time, uh, the Sprout Tower trains you against Grass-type Pokémon, and this trains you against... Flying types. Uh, so this guy's got a level 9 Sparrow. Sparrow being an absolute jerk of a Pokemon to fight. But by having a, you know, Rocky here, none of them can do anything that mean. Like, they're really not that bad. Um, best I can say is Rocky's gonna be tossed to the wayside <laughs> in about, like, 10 minutes, but... You know, he's doing alright. So... Let's use this opportunity to go up in ranks a bit. So, yes, I've been playing GDA Online. Um, I had enjoyed it for its, like, variety of instance content. I really liked uh, working through the new heists and the new missions and all that stuff that they had. Um, but I, I reached a bit of a weird point where it's like, the only thing I've got left to do right now is the casino heist, and then and that, after that, I have done every, like, kind of mission, I had done every, like, major, like, update event that they had done, um, and, uh, the only thing left is to work for tons of money to pay off things, and, uh, like, I know there's the shark guards, but I'm also like, man, the Kaio Perico heist pays out a ton. And all I am doing is just playing the same heist over and over again to work, like, a fair bit of money. Like, every every hour I can make a million bucks, which is legitimately, like, they charge, like, 26 bucks Australian for 1.25 million. So, like, I don't, I, I feel like there's no point in buying the shark cards, because you can play this heist to unlock most of the content that you really care about, and then there's no point really playing the heist too much longer than that, because by that point you've played all the content. 
only thing I can say is that if I want, really want to get into flexing on people in very random cars, um, but there's only like a handful of cars that have like any significant utility. You know, you end up picking your favorites pretty soon, so... Who knows? Uh, that being said, I think it was a decent experience, but... Oh boy, there's a lot of hackers! And it got, it really got to a kind of annoying point where it's like, man, I can't... I can't particularly keep playing this when the game fails to load into, into maps, it fails to uh, group me up with my friends, I'll join on to lobbies of people doing really random things. Some of them are absolutely terrifying, and some of them are just so silent and so annoying. Some of the fun random hackers I found was someone started flying their submarine around the map into people. Uh, the submarine should not leave the water or travel faster than 5k's an hour, but they were definitely flying it. Uh, people putting $1 bounties on people, so people have the little thing on their map, and then proceed to get $1 out of it. <laughs> um, uh, the most joke one was me doing my Kyo uh, mission, uh, and coming back to my submarine, and someone just disbanded every single organization on the server. Which means my mission cancelled, as well as everyone else who was in an organization. Mean things like that, of course, your, your classic individuals who will spam uh, things into the chat. Um, lots of juvenile language. Lots of that. So, at some point I kind of was like, I think I'm good. I think I'm done. So, uh, I'm Faulkner. He's Faulkner. He's, he's definitely a guy. And here comes the awkward part. Both of these guys have a move that is a bit mean to Onyx. And that's a uh, Mud Slap. Uh, it's not a strong move, but uh, <laughs> it reduces your accuracy if they spam it. Um, I feel like they're gonna spam it. Who knows? Yeah, they're definitely spamming it. And yeah, it's super effective. It's not a strong attack, but it reducing my accuracy is going to 100% like, destroy me. Uh, you can do one easy thing to get around it, and that's, um, just switch out. Your accuracy and stuff disappears when you switch out. Uh, I'm amazed that I've hit three, four out of four times on that one. Wonderful job, Rocky. Uh, and now I'm gonna switch to Babat. I know, right? <laughs> How many times did I miss Supersonic and then... Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, so let's hit him with the Supersonic speed. Now, this Pidgeotto does no Gust, and that's gonna be the big, like, asterisk on me beating this guy. But I've got a strat, so I'm gonna hit him with a Confusion, and then I'm gonna switch back to Rocky. Now, Rocky does not have his, uh, mud slide, mud slap problems. Uh, this Pidgeotto also knows mud slap, so I can't escape that. He's also slower than me, somehow. Don't ask. Don't ask. But, he's got no one to switch to, which means I can hit him with three of these screeches, and then pray that I can absolutely annihilate him. We'll see. Alright, he's getting me with the mud slaps, but... One more? Oh, come on! Come on, give me one more! Give me one more! This is some crazy good luck. You know what's the best part as well? I could totally just give him a potion and just have another go. Can we annihilate your ear one more time? Come on! There it is. There it is. Don't care. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Get him out of there. Now, I've probably baited him for a mud slap, which is ground type, and therefore does not affect Babat. Uh, 
Do I commit to the Super Sonic, or do I just go- I'll just go in with the Leech Life. Now, it's gonna take a bit of damage. Pidgeotto is not- not like, weak as. But I'm hoping that Le wait, is Leech Life physical? I didn't really think this through, did I? <laughs> I did not think this through. Oh well. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay, rip bad bat. Let's go with Chicky. Now, Chicky is... Uh... Very high level. And he's faster. Yeah, He can't take him out. Not, not in one hit. Um... But I can use Razor Leaf, which not only... Like... Did I not just use Screech on him three times? What happened? What happened? Did I not use Screech? What? <laughs> where's all the- Where's that defense gone? Where's that defense? I'm gonna commit with a Reflect, bro. Uh... I hope Reflect hits the team on that one. That's okay. I got a potion. We'll run back with Rocky on this one. Um, yeah, I, I treat my team with love. I treat my Pokemon with love, man. Well... They didn't say it was easy. It's really bizarre as well, because it's a level 9 Pidgeotto. By the way... Chikorita is slower than this Onix. Onix is actually not that slow. <laughs> he's, pretty, he's pretty okay. But like... The heck? What? What happened there? My dad's cherished bird Pokemon. <laughs> you yelled in its ear so much. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, in doing that, you get the Zephyr badge. Uh, this raises the attack power of Pokemon. This is a fun, like, part of this game where you just casually get, like, a stat increase as you play the game. So you actually <laughs> end up being more OP than you actually should. And then he gives you Mud Slap, which could be a meme attack, but I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't that much of a problem. A bit of a problem. Like, my entire team's dead, but that's okay. Hello, we discovered something about the egg. He's in the Pokemon City. The Pokemon Center, sorry. And with that, we've got one last, one last catch before I leave. Egg. Let's talk to this fellow, and he's all like, Yo, long time no see, he asked me to find you, he's got his, got his egg. Have an egg. He gives you an egg. Probably will hatch. You're the only person we rely on. <laughs> Ten year old, it just, just ran off. Alright, can I, can I have your Pokemon? Can I have your Pokemon? There you go. It's all good in the hood. Uh, I'm gonna put Babat out front because Rocky has somehow become my star Pokemon at the moment. No idea how that happened. So there's two things, I guess, that we can do from here. Um, one is continuing on. Oh, I got the Prusker Berry. Uh, you can continue on and fight a lot of things, but I think the mildly more... Um, I guess interesting spot is uh, heading over here into the Ruins of Alf. Now you can actually come here, like, earlier, um, but it's a really bizarre, I guess, like, area. I don't know how to explain it, but you go in, you got this wonderful, like, cave, and you got two versions of the same music. That's how you know it's king. Come in here, this guy's all like, oh, the ruins are about 1500 years old. But it's not known why they were built, or by whom. And this guy is all like, there are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. They must be the keys for unraveling the mystery of the ruins. Very mysterious. I love this part of the game. Because it's completely optional. It's got nothing to do with anything. You can completely walk past this place. But if you come up to this guy, it's like, Welcome to the stream, but there are sliding panels that depict a Pokemon drawn by the ancients. Slide the panels around to form the picture. To the right is a description of the Pokemon. So we got here, this is a Pokemon that hid on the seafloor. Eyes on its back, scan the area. And now we gotta do fun, uh, can you, can you 
do the picture. Uh, I believe the corners are pretty clear. I think the edges are... Oh, the edges are not that clear, though. Uh, so let me see if I can remember this. I think it's that. I think that's it. Um, this guy's got, like, a face here, I'm pretty sure. Is it the other way? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Uh... Yeah, I think, I think I've got the vibe. I think I've got the vibe going on here. I don't know where these pieces go though, I'll tell you that. Uh, there we go. Cool. I'm glad I could do that off the top of my head. <laughs> so you do the puzzle. <laughs> There's a strange presence here, and at this point, you start getting wild encounters. And every single wild encounter is a level 5 unknown. Or is it you known? I'm pretty sure it's unknown. Uh, these guys are totally not worth fighting because it's really annoying and they have very low base experience and it's kind of annoying, but uh, unknown is a fun Pokemon that has uh, one form for every letter of the alphabet. Uh, I'm not too sure what the actual, like... What actually I've unlocked. Oh, wait, you've got to catch three of these anyway, don't you? Yeah, okay, let's commit. Let's, let's commit, let's get, let's get three of them. Can I get, uh, X, E, and S? This is G. Maybe I can get Gex. <laughs> and one day I'll get Babette to learn an actual attack. What level did he learn at? 12? Who knows. At least Leech Life is actually pretty okay to be using. Now, all the unknowns have one attack called Hidden Power, but what type is it? Who knows. And in this case, it's not a, not a kind type, but I've got seven balls and I'm gonna use them. Well, I'm glad I attempted that. Glad this is happening. <laughs> the worst part is that I think every other one of my Pokemon is gonna kill him in one hit. Okay, all right. Dude, the Pokeballs in this gen are so good. There you go. So the shapes look like hieroglyphs on ancient tablets. It is said that the two are somehow related. Uh, I'm not gonna give him a name because you know I'm gonna 100% forget about him. Okay, so I got a G. Uh, let's try and catch. Two other random ones. I'm pretty sure you get a lot of forms. Um, initially. Yeah, so here's a C. I guess I can't do Gex with a C. What can I do, though? Uh, they may not also always be a super effective version of Hidden Power. Um, so that's why I'm feeling a bit more safe. It's ground type. Ground type. Oh, that's fun. That's not fun. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed, bro. <laughs> not a ground, which is brown. Ooh, we got an eye. We got an eye. Alright, so. Uh, tomorrow with the GDA, uh, I think I'm done, but on the topic of Skinner Boxes, I decided to get into Battlefield 4 very recently, only to discover exactly why I never really got into Battlefield 4, and that is, um, the game's a bit of a cluster, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening, um, I see, like, I, not to knock Battlefield 4, but it's like, I feel very, like, outmatched. I don't have, um, like, the ability... I guess it's an aggravating thing that I don't have the ability to, like, take down or, like, deal with everything that I see. And 
I don't know, maybe you blame, blame rough squads, but like, someone's like, we must go to I, and then I go to point I, and then he's like, now go to C, and I'm like, that's on the other side of the map, and then my teammates are all over the map, and, uh, and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna, like, cap this point, and then I'm gonna get killed, and I'm gonna have, like, a pretty, like, you know, 0.8 KD, and still end, like, 6 on the team. And I'm not too sure, like, what I'm doing, but... Uh, so that would be the second unknown, because... It's looking about, man. It's looking about. I'm gonna send Rocky out. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, okay, well, like, I remember playing Battlefield 3 a bunch because I used to be really... This is another G. I'm not gonna suck into catching two Gs. Um... But yeah, like, I, I remember playing Battlefield 3 and getting really kind of sucking into the progression system, really, like, going like, Oh, I better unlock all these things. And then I noticed that I own Battlefield 4 Premium, and therefore you get, a, like, a monthly battle pack every month. And I checked, and I definitely had about 60 battle packs unopened over the past five years of ownership of the game. So... Ooh. Look at the G, I, and a K. What do I do with that? Kig. Well, if you know someone who... We're not doing Kig. <laughs> game doesn't want me to do Kig. You can quote that. Put that on my ebooks. Uh, it wants me to do a gig, I guess. Two Gs, but... You, you do have to catch three different forms of unknown. So... Uh, you can't... You also can't catch all of them. You have to get at least some strength and surf. E! Ooh! I-E-G! Get gay. Maybe that's it. <laughs> or aig. I got to spell eight. So yeah, uh, yeah. Then I, I just played some Battlefield Four for a few hours, and I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't like get into this enough to, um, to really like play it a ton. Uh, if anything, I. Don't you turn away from me! Come on! I've got the badge, bro. I've got the badge! Heed the badge, bro! Listen to the badge, Rocky! Come on, Rocky! Come on! What happened? What happened? What actually happened? Yet yeah, you absolutely pogged the gym, and now you're like, nah, I'm gonna loaf around, bro. I thought that was a sign of recklessness, he would have critted and killed this E as well. How many pulls do I have left? Three! Let's make this count. He's going through a phase. Yeah. I think I actually bought more Pokeballs, so I've probably got less money than I do from uh, before the game crash. Um, there we go. Yeah. And unfortunately, third gen was great, because it's had the little icons for all the Pokemon. Uh, second gen... Generally, a lot of Pokemon had the same icons, although Unknown gets its own, but you can't tell which Unknown is which, so that's gonna make it absolutely fun. But you talk to this guy, and he's like, oh, that's a Pokedex, isn't it? May I see it? Oh, there's so many kinds of Pokemon, but what's this? What is this Pokemon? It looks like the strange writing on the walls of the ruins. If those drawings are really Pokemon, there should be many more. I know, let me upgrade your Pokedex, follow me. We gotta have this music again, right? Dude, that monitor position must be really bad for your neck. I've done it. I have modified your Pokédex. So, yeah, that, that's a fun little feature that, like... You know... You can glance over it. You don't have to get it. So you go here, and then you go select, and not only do you have... Which, by the way, I love this as well, is that there's a new Pokédex mode, there's the old mode, which... Um... It's incredibly unhelpful when you're playing this game, but it's great when you're interacting with people in the first gen sphere. A to Z is legit, like, the most useful mode I find. Just because it also skips out on all the ones you haven't seen. And then you got Unknown Mode, where... It lists 
the, uh, the unknown in the order that you catch them, as well as some text at the bottom. Uh, I believe that says, uh, give. And then this one up here, uh, is, uh, was it increase? And this one here is, uh, engage. Fancy words. What do they mean? Who knows? But it's good. Maybe I'll try and catch all of them later. Uh, but yeah, you can't, you can't really do anything else apart from, uh, Bob of Beauty is telling me that there's 11 of them available now. I'll get them later. It's so much easier later. Uh, but yeah, you can go over to the left only to find a funny tree. What do we do with the funny tree? Well, we completely ignore it for a while. They do not give you that much money for Pokeballs. Jeez, I just realized. That is actual, like, <laughs> bit pain. Maybe it's because, like, all the trainers, like, earlier on just don't give you much. Uh, yeah, let's, let's continue on. I'm pretty sure, actually, the trainers later give you much more money. Sure. So obviously, after I was done with Skinner Boxes, I decided to continue playing Forza Horizon 3, which I finished the main game. I still hate the way that they've got the championships lined up, uh, where you've got 63 races on the map, and that each one is the beginning of a championship which picks just three to five random spots, they're not random, they're pretty sad, but I know, um, just spots on the map for other races in the championship, and you end up doing these same races multiple times. It's so annoying. Well, anyway, I started playing the DLC, the first one, which was Blizzard Mountain. Uh, I like the idea that it's on a snowy mountain. Um, it's just, just much different change of pace. Uh, you also get nice little ski jumpy kinds of maps. You got a lake, you get to run through a town. Neat. Uh, there's nothing really too much beyond me still sending out Rocky. Whoops. I need Babat to level up, he needs it. He needs it all, and these trainers are not too rough. Tickly. Oh my gosh, that's a bit of damage. Um, but no, it's alright. The one thing I find kind of aggravating is that you gotta equip snow tires on your car. Um, and in order to do that, you gotta go back to the Horizon Hub and equip snow tires. And if you're using custom... Uh, I guess, like, upgrades for your car, so someone else's build of a car, uh, you gotta unequip that, or just find someone else's build that has snow tires. It's kind of annoying. I, that problem does not exist in Horizon 4, and I know that the other DLT on Horizon 3 is gonna suffer the same thing, but I'll get there eventually. Other than that, I think I've got, like, 11 championships. I beat, like, the whole, like, everything but the championships in three hours. I, I know there's more, like, you know, the social aspect of playing your own tracks and, uh, doing your own rigs and, uh, you know, online playing with other people, but it's Horizon 3, the servers are, well, not empty, but it's not the easiest to get into matches. Um, and I'm only, I, I really want to play the rest because I know the other DLC is, uh, Orange Track Loop de Loop Hot Wheels, um, which just sounds like... Stupid dumb fun. And so I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for it. Um, I do like me my Hot Wheels. It's... It's a, it's a strange one, where it's like... Hot Wheels, like, never... Hot Wheels is like one of, like, a few bizarre things that does not go out of style despite you getting older. Like, usually some things will go, like, cringy or whatever. It's like, oh, you know, like... That's for babies. But Hot Wheels never goes out of style. And that's amazing. And that's a testament to how, how amazing Hot Wheels is. Okay? This Zubat is being a bit... bit iffy. I'm not gonna... not gonna lie. What's a supersonic? Uh, the other game that I played during the week, apart from still continuing on with some more Cook Serve Delicious 3, oh boy, that game is just gonna eat my time, but, uh, I'm gonna go back and heal. Um, the other game that I've been playing, uh, is, uh, Lara Croft and the, uh, Guardian of Light, the 2010, uh, top-down, 
twin stick kind of shootery game. Uh, I found it was incredibly faithful to what uh, Tomb Raider is, and also, like, exactly, I like Tomb Raider should have you know like regular human bad guys. Uh, this game doesn't actually have any, but Tomb Raider is all about the supernatural and 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 the exotic, and this game is that. And it's got puzzles, and it's got traps, and it's got all that stuff. It doesn't play like a Tomb Raider game, but it most certainly is in pretty much every other aspect. Um, the only thing I kind of don't like is that they do a, a storybook-style ending, which is, just looks worse than the actual game. Um, uh, yeah, I'll <laughs> switch Rocky back. Also got the unknowns. I should probably put them, put them away, just because I'm probably going to catch something. Put them away next time I'm back at the... Back at the daycare. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of trainers on this route. Uh, what can I catch here? Rattata, Bellsprout, Mareep. Mareep might be a fun one. I kind of want Mareep. Mareep's always a good one. Alright. 10% chance because it's night time, unfortunately, but 10% is not 0%. Uh, you can also definitely find Whoopers and Zubats and no Hoppips while it's night. It's not what I want. Do I go for the the tiny bit of experience? It just boosts me up one more level. Let's do it. No, let's let's switch out. Let's let's just give it to give it a cheeky. So, no, oh yeah, Lara Croft and the um, Guardian of Light. I keep I keep wanting to say the Temple of Osiris, which is the 2014 sequel, which. Uh, this one's a fun one. It came out between 20, Tomb Raider 2013 and Rise of the Tomb Raider, but has the voice actress and presentation of the 2006 series of Tomb Raider games. Uh, and it just kind of feels a bit bizarre to me because they simultaneously, same dev, same publisher, Crystal Dynamics, um, were pushing this Tomb Raider reboot, this gritty... Uh, like, you know, attempting to be ground, grounded, you know, like, oh god, I killed someone, kind of Lara Croft, um, you know, kind of what, what turned her into the Tomb Raider, you know, instead of just, like, going with it. I don't know why backstories, like, every, every character needs a backstory. And, and, and it's bizarre as well, because, like, they already did that with Tomb Raider Legend. That they already gave her, like, some forms of backstory. Um... Uh-huh, yeah, and you know, pardon, battle, I'm on the phone. <laughs> I love this person, because it's just like, <laughs> it's your fault for fighting that, it's not even anything. <laughs> they got a Nidoran female, guess what gender it is, I know. Female's gonna uh, uh, oh, you're close, close. You got four of the letters correct. It is confused though, so who knows? Can't judge. Uh, yeah, it, it's actually it's it's pretty right, and I can't do anything about this. Uh, JK, it's funny I can't be judging, but oh. It's, <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> what, what do we do about, about Pokemon? Because every single, you know... <laughs> you've got, you've got sexual dimorphism, like, in Gen uh, 4, where you've got, like, the sprites being different between the genders. But, I, I will say, 3rd Gen does indeed introduce Azuril, who is uh, wonderfully gender agnostic. Where, uh, there's a... 50... it's a... it's a 50-50, right? Yeah. Uh, so, Azuril is, uh... I think it's the only one, yeah. Oh no, it's 25% male, 75% female. And then it evolves into Meryl, which is 50% male, 50% female. And because, like, the the gender is computed, like, 
based on some, you know, the random number it chooses all the time, uh, that <laughs> random number can somehow change its gender. And it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's like... <laughs> that's in the game, and they I think they still have it. Uh, this person does. I, I appreciate this person does let you call them later, though. Uh, hold on, so let me, let me just try and, like, get this up. So, yeah, so... Uh, female Azuril have a 1 in 3 chance of evolving into male, uh, prior to Gen 6. I think they did fix this in Gen 6, though, so... Which is unfortunate, I know, I know, but... <laughs> it's just a funny, like... It's not even a glitch, because it's like, it's pretty obvious how it worked, like, from day one. I love these guys as well. Freshly caught. Now, is this the guy? This is the guy. No, it's not. <laughs> Done. This is not quite the guy. Gonna absolutely ruin my day, isn't he? So we'll switch back to Chicky. We'll get that passive experience. Ah, oh, you gotta do so much switch leveling. Ugh. You gotta do so much switch leveling for um. Yeah, I know. I think the other guy's magic up. One of these guys is full magic up, and amazingly, like, uh, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Ah. But yeah, no, it, it kind of feels good to get back into doing a bit of game clearing. Um, I, I I felt like I just hadn't done it for so long. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I still I still like my kind of unofficial plan of always trying to beat 50 games a year. Um, and uh, like some of those games are incredibly short and can be done in a handful of hours. And some of those games... Uh, were Breath of the Wild. And definitely take me a lot of time, but I just, I don't know, I like having, um, just like that, uh, variety of playing games. Uh, I don't know, I kind of pigeonhole myself into the same genres. Like, I, I do try out some other games, and I do want to, like, take better efforts into, like, not caring too much about 100%ing a game sometimes. Um, but on the other hand, 100% orange, sorry, 100% orange juice, ooh, that's a, that's a slip. Um, Cooks are delicious. I don't know, I was thinking a three-word indie game, and I said 100% orange juice instead of Cooks are delicious. Wonderful. We're almost at the Curse Lobo Tail Dealer. I know, I know. This game is going to take a huge, like, turn after this cave. You fell asleep? So what's of notice? It's two to six turns in this game. It's actually like killer. Let me double check that one. I'm pretty sure it's two to six turns. It's actually really gnarly in this game. One to five. Sorry, one to five. It was all right. It was one to seven in Gen One. One to five in this game. Uh, and also, also in first gen, you, you woke up and then that was your turn. This one, you attack on your turn. Gen 3 was 2 to 5. Gen 5 was 1 to 3. Uh, also, you have to have those 1 to 3 turns, uh, on the time you switched out. Oh, this, this game legit is like... I don't know what happened. I am 100% getting that five turns. Also, this is a fun one. Apparently, um, way later down when we get into roaming Pokemon, so, like, the legendaries, uh, apparently you can s put them to sleep in this game and they don't flee, but they do in third gen onwards. Whoa! You made me lose that fish. Oh, oh. So this is the guy. Yeah! Yeah! Let's do it! Let's do it, boys! Let's do it! <laughs> so this is the guy with four magic ops. It's beautiful. 
Does he have enough good fish? He's, he's got a, a significant problem with his... You know, with his team variety here. I, I love Splash, just... All Pokemon fish be trash, sad reality. Um, yeah, I don't think that's a single, like, Pokemon that you can get from fishing that is just, like, good out of the box, except for Gyarados, but... Yeah, uh, you don't, you, you, you don't really get the ability to catch him straight from fishing. Um, oh, no, no, sorry, my bad, Shelda. I... I will never sleep on Shelter evolving into Cloyster because Cloyster is an absolute beast Pokemon. What a surprise! It's Magic Cup. Oh, you did specify fish though. Well, it's like it's like a bird Pokemon, you know. And then it's like, well, do you count? Do you count, like, um, what's, like, a weird, I guess, like, in 5th gen, you get, like, a Molga. Does that count as a bird Pokemon? I mean, 1st gen did have the, uh, the secret bird type. And that bird type is pretty legendary. Uh, hold on, the jet's resetting. There we go. Yeah, just... Just resetting the chat on that one. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Gosh. He, he do be he do be splashing though. He do really be splashing. I I love by the way that like this guy he'll throw you on your your toes because you're like oh oh magic up yeah sure. Level 15! <laughs> it's just... It's so much higher level than the rest for some reason. It's a, it's a great meme. I love it. And also, it knows tackle. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Okay, sure. I, I would preferably not want to get swept by the level 15 magic up here. It's not like my leech lives can really do much though, can it? He also still has Slash, so... Oh boy, I'm gonna be here for years if I, like, stay on that. Let's just send out Chicky and hit him with a Razor Leaf. I'd be confused too, man. Is this your calling? He's faster than me. I guess he's higher level, but... Like, at, th at this rate, you know, your low level kind of gets in the way a bit, but... Like, you know, once, once you get to level 50 versus 52, the level starts to become a bit more irrelevant. But 15 to 13, that can be a rather significant stat change. There we go. Now I can go back to Babat and cry a bit because I definitely need to heal. Well, get, get more of that PP. I'm gonna be here for a while, apparently. On the one hand, I want Babat to get the full experience, but I also feel like it's not worth my time at all. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Other than that, I guess that's that's been my week in review. Uh, today is the beginning of, well, not not today, but it's the first first stream of the financial year. Thank you, Joey. Oh, good evening, it's me, Joey. My retarder's looking awesome. I'll show you how I almost caught retarder. Oh, so close. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. Uh, so <laughs> today. This, this week is the first stream of the financial year. The financial year... Actually, I don't know. Financial years are different depending on the, um, country, aren't they? 
And in theory, they could be different based on the... No, they are different on the country, because I'm pretty sure in the US, like, you file residential tax at the beginning of the, the year, don't you? I know, so... I've done, like, small checks on, on mine, and I've gone... Yeah, definitely taxes. Um, I've realized that, like, because of the whole... Um, working from home stuff, like, there's some reasonable things that I can try and, like, tick off. Uh, so, I'm gonna try and look into that. Uh, taxes are fun, because it's just like... This is my opportunity to get at the government and go, Hey, you know how you give people this? Well, I'm in that. And there you go, GPU claim. Legit? Legit? Like, I use my computer for work. I bought a case and a knock to an HD 15. And a Seasonic <laughs> Ultra Prime Titanium 1001 power supply. <laughs> I can 100% go, yeah, sure, yep. Give me, give me a text on that one. I mean, like... Because the worst part as well is that, like, they've got a, a field in there which is like, what proportion do you use it for work? And I'll go, 50. Like, <laughs> legit. You know, I, I can't even, like, make that up, so... Um... I mean, yeah, there's a certain degree of, like, don't lie on your tax returns, but... Y you know what I mean, it's just like, well, I mean, I do use this for work, and that's what this is there for, and that's literally a tax, like, that's money that the seller isn't, you know, getting. My boy! My boy! I want one! I want one! I want him! Also, I, I remember I tried, like, a fair bit to make sure that Babette had the same gender. Because I got, I kept finding so many male, uh, Zubats out in the wild. I want one. Marip is so cute and so good, and I love him. I want him. And they're always available so early in the game, and it's crazy how early they are. Um, but you know what hurts? The fact that you can't come here into the grass until after you fight the gym. You're not allowed to get into the grass first. It's so painful, because... Actually, I don't even know if you can get, um... Like, any electric type attacks on this guy like that early, though. Uh, scroll down to his move set. In gen... Where's the move set? Where's the move set gone? Oh yeah, this Pokemon is unavailable within generation 8. It hurts every time. Ampharos cute or not cute? Ampharos is cute. Level 9! Okay, no, you totally would be able to get something that would absolutely annihilate the gym. If you could get him, but you can't, so Ampharos is great. Uh, we're calling him... We're calling him Fluffer. Now oh, I got my wonderful Fluffer. <laughs> it will eventually not become Fluffy because I am for us, but you know, it's, it'll be fun while it lasts. Uh, I'm gonna put him out in front, just just uh, wing some, some battle experience. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, I mean. No, he, he's only done by level 30, like... Oh! A glance! It's intriguing! That dialogue! It's very creepy! Roland is rolling in! There you go, Nidoran, uh... 100% the same species as the other one. How? How crazy is it that your gender is so wildly, like, dimorphically different that you're a different species at that point? You've done something weird in the evolutionary pool to get that, like, outcome. Jeez, man. And this is from the same game where you can pop a Flaffy and a... Sorry, pop a Skitty and a Whale Lord and somehow they will procreate. But this Nidoran male, man, it's so weird compared to the females. Like, we don't even know how on earth they match. 
And I, I know the technical reasons because first gen had no genders and they wanted to show two genders and now it's awkwardly had to be Pokemon canon. This Netherite male is a bit, a bit of a jerk. Ah, he's got his laser beams. <laughs> How dare he hit me with his laser beams. Horn attack is the mean one though. Horn attack is the mean one. Thank you, experience points. Here's the best part, I ran backwards. I'm gonna address that Pokeball in a moment. But I'm pretty sure there's this guy, who's always on a set rotation, and this is one trainer. No, he's not. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail for you? So right now, it's a million dollars! I thought you would. Somewhere... <laughs> It could be. It actually could be. Um, different regions. I guess, like, um, 7th gen started to go on the whole Galar- sorry, like, um, what's the one? Alolan variants of Pokemon, and then we've got Galarian ones in 8th gen, so... Maybe there's that. Uh, they can still procreate. There's still weird things, like, they don't want you crossbreeding into different species. It also seems a bit bizarre when you, like, really think about it. Oh, how, you, you want one of my rods? Have a rod! You want, you know what you get with this? Quillfish. You can actually catch quillfish right now. It's, it's actually not the worst. It's just that quillfish doesn't evolve. He's okay for now, but it, it doesn't evolve. Uh, so let's fight this one guy who's spinning around. Oh, sorry, no. No quillfish. Tentacle. Tentacle is actually kind of decent, isn't he? Oh, do I do I attempt to go for Tentacle? Oh, happy Mr. No Arms. Man, would have a No Arms and still being that happy. He's so cute. I love him. Second gen is full of so many cute Pokemon. Fight me on that one. And he's got Water Gun, so I should probably <laughs> switch out because... Oh, nah, I can't, I can't fight him. Un until I get Bite, Babak can't do a thing. I love that water effect, by the way. Like, it's a... It's just like a, a wonderful, like... Just like, pixel offset kind of thing. There's a lot of, lot of, quite a few NES games do it, and the effect carries over into the Game Boy, because it's a... Is it a similar chip? I think it's a very similar chip, the Game Boy. Pretty sure it's based on the 6502. And that Wooper is very dead. Yeah, Fluffer! Yeah, Babat! I think Babat's still, yeah, one more level away. I mean, I could catch a Wooper here. I'm a good angler. Famous last words. Yeah, there's a 35% chance of finding Wooper out in the wild right now. They don't appear in the middle of the day. Do it feels good. Wooper would be fun. Wooper would be fun. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll commit to it. You don't want to catch too many things before you get, like, a bit of money, but... Whoop is great. Ah... Uh, Golden's gonna ruin my day, otherwise, so... Pop him away. Yo, Chicky! Again! Okay, he's pulling my strats on me now. Now I'm confused. Now this is the strength of having Chicken Reader, is that this whole next part of the game, like this this route and the the cave right here, no concern. No concern. Because you got, you know, this wonderful just like razor leaf 
just like Champia, who gets absolutely wrecked because he's confused and Golding knows Peck. Okay. <laughs> Mildly concerned, but not 100% not concerned. Yeah, Fluffer! I tried to rush things. He did try to rush things. And you know what's the best part? Welcome to Lifelong Friends, but you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? Thank you, Ralph. I'm probably never going to fight any of these people again, but sure. Uh, so, I believe... At some point, they'll rematch you. And they'll have stronger Pokemon, which I actually really appreciate. Uh, I don't think they have... Maybe they do have kind of stronger Pokemon, but I don't know if it's necessarily, like... Strong enough based on when they ask you for the rematch. Because this is based on you doing certain uh, main story events in the game. So, I'm not going to stick with Rocky as like a main party member. Um, so I should be able to just find a whoop around the wild, shouldn't I? Hopefully, level 8. That's not a whooper. That's just... That is not Wooper. Yeah, Tentacle is cool as well, but I think Wooper would be a good, fun one to let's like see how he goes. For reference, Mareep's 10%, Wooper's 35%, so me finding yet another Mareep is uh, quite curious, but we'll get there. Uh, also, uh, I'm not playing Silver, but apparently Ekans appears here. Um, and, and in doing so, Rattata disappears at night time in, in Crystal. Sorry, in, in Silver. Sorry, in Gold. No, yes, in Silver. Sorry. I'm... Ah, oh, misreading is so bad. So Rattata's here right now because I'm playing Gold. He's not there in Silver. 5% chance for Zubat, by the way, and still 35% for Wooper. Lyric's coming at you with supersonic speed. I don't think anything is too too fast for Marie, though. I want my no arms! Give me my no arms! Hey! It's level 6, I'll take it. It's the battle of the cute boys. Him having water gun right off the bat is actually like a blessing in disguise. Because also, again, cave. You can you can use that water gun to great advantage. That's one thing that I think newer Pokemon games spoil people on, is that Pokemon learn a new move like every like two levels. But in this one it's like, you know, you kinda have to get what you get. You might be able to wing it with TMs, some TMs, but again, it's still kind of <laughs> a little bit more rudimentary in, in that way, but I... This Pokemon lives in cold water, it will leave the water to search for food when it gets cold outside. I gotta think of a cute name for him. Waterfish. Um... Oh my gosh, what do I call a Wooper? This is the toughest decision of my life. I mean, I mean, you could pick the easy one, which is like Poopa, but no one's... Not, who would want to do No arms it is? Alright. We'll put a boy on the end, why not? No arm boy, yeah, no arm boy. He's got the he's got the moves. Actually, let's give it. Let's go for a stat run first of all. Uh, all right. So looking at his stats, he's got. There's no natures in this game, so you're purely basing him off individual values. Um, it's probably going to be pretty good once he gets um. Like, so so this is the thing with second gen is that. 
moves are either physical or special depending on their type. So that means me using water attacks is going to use his lower special attack stat. But 12 attack ain't too bad. Fairback could be really good if he had a move that dealt more than like 2 damage. Just 20 power. The egg is an egg. Chikorita is a boss. Uh, and, and a tank, by the way. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the amazing part, is that, like, Typhlosion is, you know, a great, like, attacker. Uh, for Alligators is wonderful in between. Like, Meganium is a tank. It's an absolute wall. It's amazing. Uh, of course, Onyx. And then... Now, now Fluffer here. Look at that special attack. That's gonna absolutely grow. Um... I'd say that's actually a, a kind of rounded team. Lots of lots of mixed variety Pokemon in there. So we'll keep it going for the bit. Um, oh, you're, you're running out late. <laughs> you're working late. Where's your overtime hours? Jeez. Thinking she's on the taxpayer dollar and she's telling me I'm out too late. Jeez. That badge is from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? Part of me thinks that, like, they would have walled uh, this part of the, the route, like, much later than they did. Um, I don't particularly have a strat, but... Is no arm boy good enough to water gun this Pidgey? I don't really think so, but... Because this Pidgey... I don't know, actually. It probably only knows Tackle. But... You know, it's the same level, and slower. You know one thing this game has above the first one? The back sprites are so much better. It's a huge concern of mine that the first game, just the back sprites were just a mishmash of pixels that had no bases. And in this one, like, the back sprites, legit, like, have that character of that Pokemon. Real talk? I think third gen's back sprites are actually garbage. They, they're really misproportioned for some reason. Like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna look up Wooper for example, just, just as one. Uh, and if you look this up, look on Bulbapedia, you'll see near the bottom, like, all the, the sprites of that Pokemon in every game. Uh, Wooper's back, okay, Wooper's back sprite isn't actually that bad. Um, but it's like the, I don't know, the fun, the color's a bit off. Uh, let me try and get another one. Weeping Bell? There's a Weeping Bell somewhere else in this route. Oh, I'm just picking random ones. Over here. Uh, it's gonna send out Sparrow. Uh, I kinda want Babat to just like... Just soak up some more experience. I make fun of Weeping Bell and it's almost the same sprite as well. <laughs> and also they got the colors right because they actually could use a few more colors. Uh, like, I can't do anything with, with Bad Bad, he's still just sitting there, not being able to do a proper attack. Oh, and I just realized I'm sending Chicky against the uh, things that can use, yeah, you know, things that can use pack. This is going to become good fun by the end of the route as well. This is going to become good fun now, actually. Well, Chicky doesn't need the experience. Does he? Doesn't need it. Let's go back to Babat. Let's get that full experience. Yeah, I I will say like third gen does like a handful of things so much better than than second gen. Um, I particularly find the the music like the music is so. I mean, it it's rather characteristically Game Boy Advance, but it's also like you know it definitely transcends the vibe that you get out of this game. Where it's like, you know, this is great, like, chiptune music, it's got its tones, it's chiptune, it, you really feel it. But then you play, yeah, you play third gen, and it's like, hey, there's, there's some kind of orchestral vibe to this whole thing. Um, and bizarrely, they don't keep it up in many of the later Pokemon games. Fourth gen decides to be surprisingly, like, electronic. In fact, fifth gen very electronic. I don't know why. It's just... They changed the, the musical tone after third gen. It's like how um 
Gran Turismo used to be, uh, licensing, like, rock and, uh, like, alternative stuff. And then Gran Turismo 4 came along and they forced everyone into the lounge music that Gran Turismo had always been like in Japan. <laughs> Which is just like, that's a, that's a bizarre turn. And for people who don't know, find a Japanese version of Gran Turismo 1, come back to me and go, what the heck was that? <laughs> All the music is lounge music. It's hilarious. Because <laughs> it's, it's this like dirty, like alternative, like electronic. Joey! What is happening? <laughs> oh, I almost got out the other day. Oh, jo Joey, bro, Joey, I need to book you in to see your doctor. Because I don't think you're going to remember to visit him. Jeez, man. <laughs> That's the third time today he's called me about, like, him almost finding something yesterday. The first one was Hutu, I'll give him that, but now you've called me about a retarder twice. You already have one. Catch one. So now marie has got Thundershock, but... What do you do to wing the cave? Alright. You put him up in front. Obviously, that's the same thing to do. Uh, I 100% miss like hidden, like Pokeballs, but who cares? Uh, so this cave has Rotata. I guess it's got that. Um, I think I'm gonna. I don't have to really go down the level. Actually, I think he can go down the level. Yeah, I think he can actually. So th this cave's got a couple of floors, and different floors have different encounter rates. Uh, but looking at it right now, you can get Sandshrew, Geodude, Zubat, Rattata, and you can actually catch your own Onyx. Um, uh, and also rip people playing Silver, because you can't get Sandshrew. I think I actually wanted to use Sandshrew on my team in this one. Who knows? Uh, the floor below does not have any different Pokemon, but the levels are different. So if I was to catch a Sandshrew, you can get him level 8 down the floor below instead of level 6 on this floor. That does mean that the wild Pokemon that you actually have to encounter to get through is not actually too bad then. Look at this dude! Uh-oh. Now here, here comes the huge meme. Yeah! Abuse that low health, uh, that low special defense. <laughs> what a meme! What a meme! What a meme! Oh! <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Give him a round of applause on that one. <laughs> Got a reel in the experience on that one. Cathonix is pretty decent as well. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, clinical. Clinical sweep right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. That's why you play these games. You play them just for, like, dumb stuff. Because really dumb stuff happens in Pokemon all the time. Uh, so the best part is that, yeah, you can take a water type and just, like, kind of clean this area if you want. Um, the only one is you can really get a magic up who's not going to learn a water type attack for a while, so it's not really worth it. Um, you can get Tentacle. And you can get... Wooper. Alright, I want to see if I can sweep this guy's team as well. There's five trainers in this place as well. And then you're free. You just leave and you're in... Oh, no, actually, there's one more trainer. I forgot, there's one guy on the outside as well. Russell! Rip on the P11, Russell. That's such a, such a meme. But he's just like, I'm in the points, I'm in the points. I'm gonna get my first points finish as a Williams driver. And, uh... And then casually, Fernando's like, yo, yo dog. World champion on the tail. Ripper's... Ripper's... Finish. But... 
you know, I, I'll say it's kind of part of being a Williams driver. You're gonna be at the back, unfortunately. Maybe, well, not the back, but you, you're gonna, you, you, you're not gonna be fighting for the points very often. But who knows? Who knows? I think there'll be more opportunities. And if anything, like, it was a relatively clean race. Um, you know, like, there, weren't, there was one safety car at the beginning. And that was it. And there probably would have been a safety car at the very end, but oh boy, did they call up, like, a lot of people in that race. I'm gonna go back and just heal, because I know that this one's gonna meme on me. Zooby zooby zooby! The lyrics keep coming at me at supersonic speed. Just ditch Zubat like for the moment, and and just like get him to get his uh, new move and like you know, after this cave. I kind of want to fight the Zubat just to you know get get a bit of decent experience. This water gun is doing its rounds. It's remarkably good. What is happening? Jeez, Whooper. I'll, I'll run from the rest because otherwise this is going to take too long. Oh, ex except I am going to I'm going to kill the Sancho because he's weak to water, so it's going to go quick. And defense kill means nothing. All right, real talk out there. Who are people who play Pokemon with the animations turned off? Like the animations are the fun part. You get to see all this like wishy wush effects. I don't like being told that, you know, I use water gun and his health's going down. I like seeing the little water pellets. Stats are going crazy, man. This whooper is, like, legit, like, beasting. I, yeah, like, honestly, like, if you want to play through the game quick, you have to turn them off, because it is legit going to take a lot of time, but... I don't know, I, every time I play Pokemon, I just love seeing those battle animations. There's something so just, like, fun about, like, any, any JRPG, like, those just attack animations. Um, you know, until we hit, um, uh, Final Fantasy, which one... I, I know, I know, when I played 7, and, uh, you know, and boss decides to use one attack. Two minutes, can't do anything. Like, yeah, that's a bit annoying. But I feel like his uh, is there anything that wrong with just the fun like you know thingy that sweeps across the screen? Who knows? Zubat's supersonic speed keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. And his supersonic move is something really confusing. We got a fire breather. No fire type Pokemon. A coughing, huge meme of a Pokemon because people go up against him and then he absolutely walls. Coughing, like tanky physical defense, special defense not as much. So, which is why I'm actually really liking Wooper just cleaning this dungeon. That's crazy that I just like catch him at level six and he's just like he's going, he's going hard. I was not expecting Wooper to just, like, be able to spam Water Gun that many times and somehow get through everything in this, in this dungeon. And the best part is another, another coughing. Same level, same bat time, same bat level. Oh, I better not spend too much time not saying anything, or else Sony Music Entertainment Japan is gonna come for me. <laughs> Other than that, the general vibe of the week that I'm getting, uh, honestly, like, alright, alright, say what you want about, like, superstition. Honestly, like, I sometimes always get, like, the feeling of, of luck in waves. And I know it's, like, it's 100% superstition. 
I've got like no basis on anything, but on Sunday I remember I was like I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just feeling like, you know, like rough luck I'm getting some bad news, you know, like you gotta deal with things and then you get down and then Maybe, maybe it's self-fulfilling as well. You, you start to feel down because of those things and then you start to notice other things. I've had no bad runs in, at work, so at least there's that. But, like, things would happen outside of work and then of course during the stream, controller unplugs, stream dies, or game dies, saves lost. Like, yeah, that that's probably like... kind of the most icing on the cake. Also, my, uh, my shower flooded on Thursday. I guess there's that. But I've come back to it after this week and gone, you know what, we, we have unplugged the metaphorical shower and the uh, actual shower is fine now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not praying the shower to fix, I'm getting a plumber on that one. <laughs> but, uh, like, I don't know, I, I always feel like, you know, my... Or, or, is, this, or is this a form of, um... And he gets slammed! He gets slammed that early, what? That's crazy. Um, like, I, I, I yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to put in, like, this feeling of, like, superstition or, uh, like, higher, you know, like, powers. But just, like, just, just trends. So, slam, bit of an awkward attack, because I think it's only got 75% accuracy, but it hits hard. It is a hard attack. And for no arm boy having high attack, that's, that's crazy that he learned slam at this level. And also that he starts killing himself. So, uh, let's be a bit careful. Let us switch out of Babat. Babat needs a little bit of love. Realize we're we gonna deal damage fast enough that I can actually use leech life or no? No, no, I'm not going anywhere if I keep using this. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's switch back. Let's switch back to. Let's switch to Fluffer, because Fluffer's got Thundershock and I can just make easy work with this guy. Lyric's coming at you at supersonic speed! So... But no, yeah, I, I feel I feel so much more refreshed this week. I feel like things are definitely going... ...my way, based on the agency that I am providing into things that I can change. And I think that's... that's probably a healthy... ...healthy vibe to be in, and uh... I guess I start with a big time timey, I'm gonna end with a big time timey. Well, not end the stream right now, but... Um, Near, near this end of the stream, I'll go, you know, always... How do I say things in, in ways that don't just sound pretentious and, uh, self-centered? Am I, am I, like, a social media influencer for that reason? I'm just like... Who knows? Uh... The weird, weird part about this cave as well is that, like, yeah, just running to the, like... Geodudes can appear. Onyxes can appear. That's only a 35% chance of the total, total rate. Zubat's a 25, Retarda's a 10% or 40% of Rune Silver, and then Sandshrew's the remaining part. I can't really bother you that hard. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. So I just say, like, you know, hold on to the things that you do control, because that's your that's your stuff. You'll feel bad when you misuse it, but you'll feel good when you do use it. Now, this guy's got got a slow poke. I always thought slow poke had a you know E dash on it, like Pokemon. But I I'm glad I can use Fluffer right now. I feel like I've actually got like a real like strong rounded team. Just just for like this early. Like I've got, you know, like a water type attack, I've got this grass type attack, I've got this electric type attack, I'm hopefully getting Pebat to get a flying type attack. Um, and the flying type attacks are gonna be important. Except no, he's gonna get bite first, so still. Good old fluffer. My poor Pokemon. 
So if we go down the floor, um... I guess I can catch Sancho a level higher. How about I turn around and flush that up? In fact, I think I, I took off my right earphone to scratch my ear and I just hear that, like, a while away. Um, actually, wait a minute, you can get, um... Yeah! You can get TM39, that's swift. That's an interesting attack to have, like, this early. Because it's a 60 power move that always hits. And... I wonder how useful a move that always hits is. It'd be really useful, you know, for a gym where the gym leader would constantly reduce your accuracy, you know? It'd be very useful for that kind of scenario. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I wanted to catch... Uh, Sandshrew... I think I'll pass for the moment. <laughs> I think I'll just return back to him later. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, which one's got the item? I hate awakening. It's like a... My brain's trying to, uh... Refer back to a, a Garfield version, except I had a Meowth. It was great. Beautiful. You can never leave. If it's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Let's show those. My guy. Here he goes, huh? So, Ray Slipe here, he's sending out Vulpix. Uh, I'm gonna take a assumption he's got a fire attack. Yeah, he's got Ember. It's gonna be a little mean, but not too rough. Especially when, when you're special attacking. I know I can switch back to... Oh, it's got Quick Attack. I... Should I switch back to Wooper? Or do I commit Babat? I'm gonna commit Babat, actually. I don't think he can really do much. Because Ember's not gonna, like, absolutely annihilate Babat. Babat doesn't have the highest stats. He's gonna he's gonna start feeling it soon though. That's the that's the problem. When he hasn't evolved, you'll feel that he hasn't evolved. Like, after a while. And it starts to become about now. When you go, man, I wish he evolved like it's level 22 as well. He he does take his time getting there. Oh, uh, but I did get that one health back, so that's okay. And all I need is Vulpix to hit himself like once. Or herself, sorry. There you go, now I can just use Leech Life like twice, or you can just hit yourself twice. Hmm, so close. That's okay. And there we go. Take out that Volpix. Show him who's boss. Flash! <laughs> and with that, you're done. You can leave the cave and you gotta really watch out because that's a that's a trainer. They are so nice that they give you a trainer just just right here. Um and interestingly, this was a different route. Like if you go to your, your Poke Gear, if you go to your map, this is actually like this is Route 33, just, just Tiny little bit right here. This is its own route. It's got its own encounters. And I'm on the wrong side of this guy. Oh, I gotta pass him twice, so... Okay. Ah! Oh, I came through this tunnel! <laughs> now he's got the dude. He's got the dude. Can I deal with the dude? With my no arm boy. I've got two Pokemon that I can probably deal with thingies. I just want to see if no arm boy has the ability to sustain, with, withstand. I, I mix sustain and withstand into one one word. Sustain. Do people say withstain? Also, beast, Mr. No arm. So good. So good. 
Now comes the fun part, he's got him a chop. Which, uh... Ironically, Bad Bad would actually be pretty good for this one. Unless he's got like a rock attack. Okay, alright, if there's one sprite I'm gonna make fun of, it's for Chops. The Chops looks very first gen. The proportions are there. At least fix it. I've realized that it's not the right type. He can't do anything either, so. I don't know, who's in the wrong on this one? I'd rather just switch him out and just let Chicky just clear him out so that Baba can get a bit of experience. Gosh, that low kick. Which one's the one? Brick Break. That's the one that breaks Reflect. That's not in this game, is it? I don't think it is. Hopefully not. And with that, that is the last trainer before we get to encounter uh, animal exploitation. Whoa, boy, you got it more zip. Sure. <laughs> I love Azalea Town. Come over here, it's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? What a wonderful translation. So, the Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Weird. I should get that looked at. So, yeah, so this is Iggy Azalea Town. Iggy Azalea Town is a fun place where there's a gym. Uh... And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! And there's one, there's one guy. So, the, what you've got to do is... Come up here and get the Whit Apricorn. Apricorn is a wonderful, like, I don't even know. So you get these apricorns, there's apricorn trees in places, and you talk to this guy. Who are you? You know, hey, I want to make some balls. <laughs> I'll have to wait. You know, Team Rocket? And eh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm gonna give him a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt Angle is on his way. I like thinking he's Kurt Angle. And he, he goes. He goes. And you thought you were safe, but no. <laughs> you got more trainers down the well. And then Kurt Angle is like, ah. And I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down on my back and I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Poor Kurt Angle. Never saw it coming. So. Somehow I've managed to make almost all my team the same level. In one fell swoop. None of these guys are too bad, though. I'm gonna vent my anger by beating up kids. Uh, so this well, it's only got Zubat and Slowpokes. But... Uh, the main reason why you come down here is because trainers, and you have to do it eventually. So, I've... Is he one experience away? Is he one experience away? Okay, he's six experience away. That's still kind of annoying. Um, who would be more useful in the, the gym? I think Fluffer would, so I'll, I'll, I'll boost Fluffer a bit. Fluffer evolves really soon as well, doesn't he? Is it level 15 or is it 20 where he evolves? Fifteen, yeah, jeez. That's that's come up soon. Meanwhile, Zubat's twenty-two. Chikorita is um sixteen, isn't he? And then uh Boofer is twenty, I believe? Pretty sure Boofer's twenty. But there's Bad Bat. Yeah yeah, Woop is twenty. And then of course Onyx evolved said. <laughs> Trade with a, a metal coat. Or Tatata. Fluffer, that's enough. Come on, Fluff. Come on, Fluffer. 
So the reason why Zubat is amazing though is that once you get Bite, then you can start actually like dealing some damage. And Bite's a great attack. Because I'm just gonna like cause him to flinch whenever he's not using Quick Attack on me. But yeah, no, finally, <laughs> finally an attack. That's not dreadful, and the worst part is that he's not gonna learn anything that useful. <laughs> or he's gonna learn Confuse Ray, I guess he's got that. Um, but he's not gonna learn really anything that useful until much later down the line. And unfortunately, yeah, no flying type attack, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Or a poison attack. Anyway, we've got another rocket grunt. Uh, they did not. Pokemon Yellow was kinda interesting because they had the Jesse James characters, um, but they didn't really quite reuse them in this game. They don't appear necessarily. Um, we've got these two kind of grunt, you know, sprites that kind of look like Jesse James, but not quite. I think it's just, I don't know, they probably made this one alongside Yellow, but didn't really want to, like, acknowledge the anime on this one. Um, whereas, like, Yellow was specifically, hey, the anime is kind of popular, so let's make a version where you, you play with Pikachu and fight specifically Team Rocket and not much of the game was changed otherwise, but sure. And I always find this is like the most interesting part of Pokemon is the fact that there are no sequels. Like this is, this is a sequel of a game, but like this is still Pokemon Gold version. It's not Pokemon 2, it's Pokemon Gold version. And I, I find that's the most interesting part is that like you just have to know that this is a sequel? That- he had three flinches in a row, by the way, and then the one time he gets to attack and he misses. That's just tragic. That is tragic right there. Ya rotten brat! Ya cheeky boom boom! You got a stupid potion. Uh, I'm gonna put a... Fluffer up front. Oh, he's a bit weak. I believe you only have to fight, like, four trainers and that's it. So, quit taking Slowpoke Tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. And our income. And our bottom line. And our... Kuspucci. You don't want to invade on someone's Kuspucci. Ah, oh, got him on that one. Got him on that one. Didn't get him on that one, though. Oh, you're gonna play that way, are you? Alright, do I trust Fluffer to live? I trust Fluffer to live on this fight. Maybe not the next fight, but definitely this one. Because he got Zubat. Easy. Oh yeah, like, I don't know of any, like, game sequels that are, like, that gutsy in calling themselves, like... In, in not, like, saying that they're a sequel. Um... You'll definitely see it on the reverse. You'll see games call themselves sequels, like, uh, Cough Cough Overwatch 2. Hey, your game is literally, like, so much the same game that it's forward compatible. You play with people who are buying this sequel that's eventually going to come out. I, I'm gonna rip an Overwatch too. I, I just know it. It's it's gonna happen. Uh, brace yourself. So unfortunately, yeah, Fluffer is a little low health, and I don't want to make my ears bleed hearing that ding ding all the time. So we got Dabat to uh, cop the supersonic every single time. There's a lot of people who know Supersonic right now, and it's a bit aggravating to be on the receiving end of it. It's especially aggravating that how unlucky was I in getting, like, Supersonic pulled off, like, a lot of the time, and here am I hitting myself in confusion twice. Say what again? Suffering is pain. Alright, no on boys coming at him. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. I'm confused. I'm definitely lost. I'm hitting myself in confusion for the fourth time in a row. Let me get the rate of how often you hit yourself, because I'm pretty certain it's... Oh, it is 50%. Okay. Alright. Still, four times in a row. 6.25%. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's always been 50. Oh, no. It was 30, it's 33% from 7th gen onwards. But yeah, note how Supersonic is hitting quite a bit, isn't it? Isn't it? This is a level 9 Zubat. Wow! What is happening? What is going on? Just don't do this. Just don't do this. Let me get away with this, please. Alright, he's letting me get away with this. Alright. There goes that water gun. Alright, here we go. One more trainer. Ah. Uh... Do I commit with Chicky? Or do I just... just ah, I'm just gonna walk back and heal. I'm gonna fight like one random encounter. Not even. Also, don't forget. Oh no, is it here? Here? One of these. There it is. There's a full heal there. That one's cool. So I'll clear off this well, and then we'll call it a stream. Cause that's a good that's a good checkpoint for the the stream right there. Just kind of like go, hey, that's the well. I can't remember where I ended, like where, where I ended part four of the uh, the let's play. Um, I have the feeling it was when I exited the cave, cause I remember going through the cave, but. I don't particularly remember too much after that, so here we go, officially further than the Let's Play. We did it. We did it, gang. Yeah, there's a handful of games that, yeah, I, I remember doing a Let's Play, and these were the, the two recent ones, and I feel like, you know, let's, let's get out of the way. Let's, let's be Pokemon Gold, and have fun while I do it. Because I think that's the best part about playthroughs of this game, is that, you know, you can be the Chugger Conroy type, you can be the kind of guy who describes every part of the game, and that's fine being that guy. I kind of like just the fun social aspect of it, and I think Pokemon is a great game because you can play it and not explain everything. Like, you will not show every part of the game in one go. There'll be so many varieties of Pokemon, so many, like, kinds of ways of playing this game. And you just pick what you like. And Wow! This guy's got the defense. Like, he's level 14, I guess I can see that, but... Jeez. I don't have a strat beyond using... Screech. Like, I guess I, guess I can share the load across my team. I'm kinda glad I went back and did heal over this, but... Uh, yeah, let's, let's send Fluffer out. I forgot how many steps it takes to hatch the egg as well. Because that one's like, it's it's coming along already. Ah, oh, Thundershock. What a classic. I, I thought it was like, I was going to get him on that one. Still, still. I got him, I got him. It's all good. No on boy grew to level 12. That's a lot of, a lot of health, a lot of experience. Wait till next time. So if you beat this guy, yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago, but we continue our activities on the ground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. You know one thing I like about this place? You have to fight everyone. They're just, they're all in the way. So anyway, he comes back. 
Way to go, me and now Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. All that aspirin. And then he just teleports you back in here. You're like, oh jeez. So, what Kurt Angle does here is uh, he makes balls. Uh, but he gives you a special lure ball. And, uh... So, yeah, what you can do is, if you have an apricorn, you can tell him to make it. And the next day, which I th think is just the, like, 24 hours, like, over midnight. So I don't think I have to, you know, whatever, but, I don't know, you're not going to see until next stream. Depending on the type of apricorn, he'll give you a different ball. So I've given him a white apricorn, which is good for... F which will turn it into a fast ball. Um, and uh, that that's nice for catching Pokemon that run away, which... Has happened, I guess. It's happened already with the unknowns, but yeah. But other than that, I'd say that's it for a stream. Like, what happened? I, I caught up to where I was over the last week. Uh, got back to Sprout Tower, fought the guys at the top, um, then fought the gym, went through all that route, beat Team Rocket. I'd say that was a pretty productive two hours. And, yeah, this game is going to fly back quick. It's not the longest, uh, actually, it could be the shortest Pokemon game, like, from start to credits. Um, it's very... Good evening, it's me, Ralph. Got a minute, my golden's looking awesome. I wish I could show you. Hey, listen, I almost caught Wooper the other day. Oh, it's so close to see ya. Thanks, I was really appreciating that, so... Um, but yeah, no, like, you'll probably end the game around, like, level 45. Like, quite low. And not like my Pokemon Blue 45, but like, actually, like, they don't, they don't really get you going that hard, so. Ah, yeah, okay. Anyways, with that, I'd say that's a good stream. So, thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to double save as well, because I don't trust, I don't trust anything. And, uh, yeah. So with that, I would like to say, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you like seeing streams that happen at 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Mondays, uh, you can follow and you'll know that that's happening. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube where you will also just see the same video twice. Uh, maybe there'll be exclusive stuff, who knows. Uh, other than that, yeah, it'll be the same bat time, bat hour uh, next time, but I really... Yeah, no, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that, and, um, and I, I hope as well that, like, you know, you go out and you go, hey, I'm gonna play along with this fan guy, because I'm only playing this two hours a week, so, who knows, you can play along, see what you got, any fun stories. Um, other than that, keep well in your own work, uh, don't let my superstitious luck, uh, roll off onto anyone, um, just, uh, yeah, let, let it go, uh, happening next week. I can't think of anything that's happening next week, so take it as it goes. Anyways, have a good one, everyone.